Hi, Julie. Hi, Taylor. So great to chat with you. We got a brand new winner. What is your reaction to the first seek winner, Jag, taking it all? Corey's vote goes to... Congratulations, Jag! You are the winner of Big Brother 25! I mean, either way, we're going to make history, whether Matt, Bowie Jane, or Jag won. And with Jag winning, I mean, he earned it. I, I love that we have our first sick winner because it really um, helps broaden our viewers' horizons to know more about the sick religion and what, you know, what he stands for. And, you know, I think we saw him play this game with um, strength and in a straightforward way. I found that he had integrity. He didn't backstab anybody. I mean, Big Brother, you have to tell people what they want to hear and be a little bit misleading, but he didn't go against anyone that he said, I've got you. You know, he was never tight with anyone except for the two people at the end with him, Bowie Jane and Matt. So, you know, he broke a record, seven POV wins. He earned it. That resume was airtight. That's a pretty stacked resume. Now, Taking Matt with him, final two, did you ever doubt that he was making a 750K mistake? I didn't think he was making a mistake and I didn't think he was risking the prize money because his resume was so stellar against Matt and he's a very good public speaker. I mean, when he gave the speech as to why he had to, you know, evict Bowie Jane, I thought, well, that's a winning speech right there. If I sit next to Matt and I lose 6-1, the one thing that I pray is that that one vote is from you, Bowie Jane. I have to take Matt to the final two, and I have to vote to evict you, Bowie Jane. He was willing to take the loss if it meant just, you know, having her vote, keeping to his word. But hey, yes. I know the power of a strong speech, so I love to see one in the end. Now, another winner tonight, Cameron, AFP. Congratulations, Cameron! You have been voted America's favorite player. What are your thoughts? Well, I was shocked because he got voted out weeks and weeks ago. And you may be a favorite when you're on the air, mm -hmm. you know, 24 seven, but when you get voted out, America tends to forget you. The fact that he won the most votes over Sari, who's a survivor legend who came in with a legion of fans. Big Brother 25 lasted for a record 100 days. How do these kids go back to reality after being in isolation for so long? I don't know how you, <laughs> I don't know what the, you know, on ramping back into reality is like after 100 days in, in the house. I do think that the $750,000 will make it a little bit easier for Jag <laughs> and not bad for Matt getting 75 grand. But um, I think they probably need, you know, a 200 days of reality to undo all the whatever they went through in 100 days of being in the Big Brother house. It's a new game and a new set of rules as legendary BB players return to compete to be the last one standing. What can we expect from this brand new Big Brother concept? Well, it's a brand new competition. It's a new game with new competitions. So, you know, all bets are off. I mean, if you, you know, we might have some new iconic games that come out of this. Maybe they'll be just for this Reindeer Games edition. Expect the unexpected, I don't know. But you are going to see someone from season 25 get to play in Reindeer Games. I mean, it's a packed week. It's six episodes, you know, one week. Um, just stay tuned. Are you gonna have any FOMO at all? Are you running the show? Will we hear anybody else say, but first? Well, I won't be on Reindeer Games. I need to rest after 100 days of season 25 <laughs> and get ready for next summer. Well, we are all very excited about BB26, but I gotta pick your brain. Are there any former house guests that you would love to see play Reindeer Games? I love Janelle. I love Danielle. You know, she still, I feel like, has been robbed of ever winning. I'd love to see her try and do this again. Mm -hmm. um, Will Kirby, you know, he's always, but if you're gonna have Dr. Will, you need the other half of Chilltown. I mean, just, <laughs> I don't know if this is going to have any space for Chilltown conversations in the diary room. Okay.
boop, boop. Bring. Hey, hello. Hey, Boogie. What up, man? Do you remember a few weeks back when I got my showmance to put up her very best friend, Marcellus, and then we evicted him? Yeah. Could I bother you to do that this week with your showmance? Just get her to put up her best friend, Danielle? <laughs> sure, no problem. Cool. But um, those would be some of my picks to see compete in reindeer games. Right. And I love Frankie. I How love can you Frankie. Not love Frankie. I know. It'll be interesting to see what type of players will fare well in the space. Now, the strike has officially ended. All of the strikes have officially come to an end, and we're very excited about that. But could we see more variations, short games, long games of Big Brother in the future? Look, anything's possible. Here's the, here's the main thing. Big Brother takes up three nights a week, a lot of a lot of primetime real estate. So that's why for the summer it's perfect. But and that's why we went a hundred days this season because there were two strikes going on. So that's why it got supersized. You never know. But I do think when the next Winter Olympics comes around, you'll probably have a celebrity. It would make sense to have a one month counter programming. Not everybody wants to watch the Olympics, the Winter Olympics. You know, we have our own competitive games going on in the Big Brother house. That's right. I can appreciate that. A Winter Olympics for BB Games. I can yeah. see that. Yeah. Celebrity version. Celebrity Winter Games. Lastly, before I let you go, we got three showmances out of this season. Jared in Blue, Comerica, Corey in America, and even Matt and Riley. Are you a betting woman? Are you betting on any of these couples to make it? I think they're all going to make it because we didn't have time in the live finale, but I knew from the pre-interviews that Jared wants to make a go of it with Blue. Oh. So I don't know how she feels. But I'm going to say she's going to say yes. I mean, she stayed loyal to him, kept his secret, you know, didn't tell anyone that he was playing with his mom, Sari. And then Corey and America, yeah, they said I love you to each other inside the house. <laughs> I mean, they spend a lot of concentrated time together. And that, if you can make it through that and still want to be together afterwards in the jury house and beyond, <laughs> then that's a pretty solid foundation. And I just think that Riley and Matt are adorable. You know, Aww. it's just a budding romance, so I'm rooting for them. Me and Riley, we're vibing for sure. Like, we're definitely having a good time. Matt and I have gotten really, really close, and I honestly never expected it. He's so, so, so sweet. Well, I'll be at all the after parties tonight, so I will keep my ear on the ground just for you, Julie. Yes, please. <laughs> of course. Thank you so much for coming tonight. Thank you, Taylor. Yeah, and Godspeed to you. You look beautiful, and you're well on your way. Thank you. And you deserve it. <laughs> you're the best. Oh. I adore you.